Hi everyone. Something that I've done in Cinema 4D um, fairly easily was set driven keys without having to set up drivers. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. I've got a little movie here. So it's basically driving the rotation of one to drive the sort of rotation of the other two. And you've probably seen this in tutorials on how to rig uh, fingers in Blender, the new way of putting a constraint on one joint and then the joints following on from it um, incrementally bend based on the, the rotation of the first joint. So I'll show you how I did this, set this little uh, example up. First you set up a cube, tab into edit mode, and then shift S, cursor to selected, and tab back to object mode up here to origin, origin to 3D cursor, and then A to, oh sorry, you want to select it, and then shift D to duplicate it, drag it along, you want to shrink this down slightly, shift D to duplicate again, and then shrink this down as well, the S key of course is your scale key, to make that happen. And you want to keep them fairly tight together, otherwise when they are folded together they'll, you'll find that you'll get awkward angles and things. Uh, so you've set that up, so then we want to make this small one a parent of uh, sorry, a child of this one. So you select that first, left click, then shift left click, and then control P, and then you want to make this one a child of this one, control P. So then we want to set up the uh, constraints. So if we select the smallest one first, go to your constraints panel, and we want transformation. You click on, because it's driving off this first big one, which you animate off this big one, you don't animate these two, then uh, obviously this has to be the target. So we go to cube one as the target. And then we'll click ex extrapolate. And extrapolate helps us to, uh, or, or basically works out the transformations beyond uh, the just the pure numbers that you put in. So if we click rotate, rotate, and the maximum here we want is 5, and then down here the maximum we want is 10, because obviously it have to, uh, the smaller cube has to work harder than the, the bigger cube. I'm sorry, uh, I've got the numbers wrong, that should be 8, and that should be 25, I've actually put them in for the other cube. Uh, so then we put do this one as well, constraint transformation, we'll select cube one, rotation, rotation, and we want five for the big cube and ten for the cube that's following on. We can test this by selecting the big cube, hit R and rotate, and you can see that you've got instant uh, a set driven key. So if you want to do something like an aircraft door opening up and it's got a whole lot of pieces that come out, you can do this very easily um, by just just this little trick of parenting, uh, parenting these segments and then adding the transform. And that's all there is to it. And then it's a matter of texturing and setting up your backgrounds and all the rest of it. Thanks for watching.